Depending on the size of the bottle, these two products can be purchased for around five bucks. Your child could walk into any store and buy them, and no one would bat an eye. They then could mix them together and take a drink. For both mouthwash and hand sanitizer to be effective at killing germs, they need a certain percentage of pure alcohol. But it's the other active ingredients that can spell danger for anyone looking for an easy buzz. Whether it be an allergic reaction, um, whether it be it might interact with some other medication you're taking or anything else that you might have in your body, there it certainly could be deadly. This hasn't stopped people from making the concoction. Some have resorted to putting salt into the mixture to eliminate the excess poisons. Online videos have popped up glorifying the use of the dangerous liquids. Substance abuse coordinators suggest parents be mindful of their children's actions. Parents need to know that if their kids are seeing it on YouTube or their kids are seeing it anywhere else on the internet, then they need to be cautious of what they are leaving in their bathrooms and, and need to keep an eye on what their kids are using. While there haven't been any documented cases of hand sanitizer ingestion around the valley, members of the Stanton Office on Youth have discovered another way local kids may be using it. We started checking things out and watching things more closely with some of the programs we were doing. And we actually would catch kids, um, the hand sanitizers like that are on the walls and stuff, they would actually put their hands and just huff it like really hard. Despite being common items, for some parents, their children's well-being is top priority. It will certainly be a motivator for me to remove it from my household and speak to my son's school about removing it from, from their schools. In Stanton, Dave Beiknish, WHSV News 3.